Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Pallas in the 8th house in a natal chart. Now, Pallas in the 8th house, well, one may resolve, uh, I mean, Pallas can be in astrology. Pallas can be about how one may resolve dilemmas or issues. Now, given we're talking about the 8th house, perhaps one may resolve dilemmas through um, deep research. It could be investigation. It could be through criminal profiling, checking on criminal backgrounds of others. It could be by making a major transformation uh, in one's life. Uh, it could also be um, through the assistance of a sexual partner or someone you're in an intimate relationship with. It could be by doing something with taxes. It might be by getting uh, tax breaks or getting getting knowledge about taxes in terms of getting breaks on it and perhaps a re tax refunds. Some cases it could be uh, about receiving uh, an inheritance and especially like if you have, um, you know, say this is making a good aspect, sex star trying to natal Venus or Jupiter that can increase that propensity for that, I would say. Uh, dilemmas may be resolved through as occult astrological knowledge. It could be if you're an astrologer, it could be getting in touch with your own uh, natal chart. Uh, it could also be through shared resources and getting um, in, in the emotional, moral, and even monetary support uh, from others. So anyway, well, um, as far as Pallas goes in astrology, it could also be connected with the perceived connection one may have uh, with one's dad or father. Now, um, given um, this is the eighth house, it could be one that could be a very deep connection, but it could also be connected with power and control issues um, in some uh, cases. And, um, and sometimes it could be crisis uh, related and especially say if this is making an adverse aspect to one's natal Pluto that could increase that uh, proclivity for uh, something like uh, that but it's also one where maybe there, there's equal give and take in terms of emotional moral and monetary support that's where the connection uh, can be and and you might have seen your connection with your dad as, as very transforming uh, for you in your life so anyway well, also, palace and astrology can be connected with legal issues. Now, uh, given that this is the eighth house, one may be embroiled in some legal matters that might be connected you know, with debt or money owed. It might be through uh, some credit card issues that one uh, may have had. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's about money owed on a credit card. In some cases it may be, but it could also be, you know, some kind of fraud. I mean, let's say that you were, uh, this is like Pallas and Pisces in the eighth house. This could be an indicator maybe for uh, issues uh, dealing with some kind of credit card fraud where you may have been victimized or even insurance fraud where you might have had to pay some price. And also, um, this could be legal issues involving um, taxes uh, in some cases as well because the 8th house can be associated with that. Now, also, palace and astrology can be connected with disputes. Now, given that this is the eighth house, this could be about disputes that may be associated. It could be over loans. It could be over money that may have been owed in a loan. Uh, it could be over inheritance issues about what was um, what you felt you may have been entitled to and maybe didn't get. Uh, it could be over a uh, legacy, um, you know, the legacy that you perhaps want to leave. Uh, it could also be in matters pertaining to shared resources. And even you might be a person that might be uh, really consistently embroiled in contentious situations with people you're in an intimate or sexual uh, relationship with. And say, for example, if this is like an Aries, it could be ones that could be very acerbic and acrimonious. So anyway, well, um, the, uh, the thing about this too is now palace and astrology can also be uh, connected with attention on concepts. Now, given that this is the eighth house, this could be one where one puts their focus on concepts that could be connected with death, um, transformation, uh, rebirth. Uh, there might be a uh, very strong focus on matters connected with reincarnation and also uh, connection uh, with concepts and uh, ideas that are associated with sex as well and even criminal 
uh, profile and this could be a person that might be very proficient in terms of like maybe being like you know in terms of investigation criminal profiling um, it could be somebody that could really do well and perhaps in forensics or police work law enforcement so anyway well, also to palace and astrology can be connected with the debil debilitations that may be attributed to an immune system that may be diminished or depleted. Now, given that we're talking about the eighth house, this could be a little bit, you know, serious issues because the eighth house is associated with surgery. So this could be if you have any issues um, that are connected with your immune system, diminished or depleted, it might be, uh, it might be ones that have a greater chance of requiring uh, surgery. Um, it could be something that might be affecting like your sexual uh, performance in some cases or sexual matters one way or another. Maybe your relationship perhaps with a sexual partner or someone you're in an intimate relationship with. It could also be uh, it might affect issues like with credit in some cases if there was an ex if there was uh, extravagance connected with these issues where you had to spend a generous amount of money and it might even impact really strongly the um, really the, the monetary support that maybe you're able to give others in some cases and even moral support because if you're dealing with some very tough issues that are a result of like your immune system being uh, depleted or uh, diminished it might not put you in that frame the mind to be willing to readily give moral uh, and emotional support uh, enthusiastically so anyway well, also, too, um, palace and astrology can be associated with art. So this could be a person that might do well or may be in, interested in art, I should say, that might be done uh, collaborating with, uh, with a sexual partner, someone you're in an intimate relationship with. It could be something where you might even be in a business partnership associated uh, with that. If you're somebody that's very proficient in art, this could be an ideal placement perhaps to do something in terms of a business connection because the eighth house is associated with shared resources so um, let's say for Pi if it was in Pisces for example it could be about abstract art and uh, you know, Aquarius could be like computer art graphic art design something which is done maybe through some kind of electronic or computer means so or, or art that's very innovative and inventive Palace and astrology can also be connected with tough choices that one may make in conjunction with one's relationships that are male. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, believe that it, you know, it has to be a significant other or a marriage partner, but it could simply be a male that plays a dominant role in your life scheme. Now, given that um, this is the eighth house, it might be done in some cases through a criminal background check somebody may have done on, on somebody. It could be connected with uh, perhaps uh, moral, emotional, monetary support issues. Um, it could be about which which person has you know if you're choosing between one and another which one has actually been there for you in crisis situations uh, which one has been there for you more uh, in matters pertaining to moral emotional monetary support um, so and those are some ways that could manifest and pan out now Palace and astrology can also be associated with the strategy that one may use or employ to traverse uncharted uh, territory. Now, again, going to the crime factor, because the eighth house can be associated with that, your, uh, your decisions that you may make in connection with this might be uh, strongly connected with, the, cr with the, uh, the crime rate in the area. It might be something where um, it might be connected with going to um, you know a place if you're unattached where you feel you can find you have a better chance of finding that sexual partner or someone you can have an intimate relationship with it could be a place where you um, maybe become friendly and you get moral emotional monetary support uh, from others it could also be a place to I mean when we're talking about um, um, this as well I mean it could be uh, also a place where 
uh, you know, go, again, the criminal, uh, you know, the criminal rate, of course, could factor in strongly, but it could also be a place if you're an astrologer, as an example, where you feel you can do uh, what you want to do in drum up and stimulate that kind of business, or if you're in, say, you know, in any eighth house profession, such as insurance or taxes, as an example, or working in a death profession, such as being a coroner, uh, a mortician, or a funeral director, where you think you can have that business and flourish. So, um, and also to um, keep in mind that palace can also be connected um, with patterns as well. So this could be a person that could be very astute and proficient in understanding uh, sexual patterns or uh, people that are in, you know, intimate relationships patterns associated with them, criminal patterns, somebody that could be, have a good understanding of criminal uh, behavior. This could be somebody that could do very well, say it's like when those criminal, I don't know if they're like criminal psychologists um, or what have you, but you understand when I'm saying patterns associated uh, with death and also even um, astral, I mean, the eighth house could be connected with the supernatural cult and it cult me can include astrology so if this is a person that is an astrologer this could be let's say an excellent position for understanding like certain aspects and elements and placements and chart charts and correlating it with you know a lot of things that you know certain people would have in common that have those specific aspects and elements and placements in their charts so anyway People, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. And until next time, people, Edwin Laird saying stay well.